Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another video. Hope you're having a wonderful fucking day and we're about to get started with a commentary. So we have today Wolf Snipe vs Vladimir on Stormkeep. Uh, we're going to be on Wolf Snipe's POV as that's who has sent it in. Thank you very much. Please do send in more of these uh, as I'm trying to do as many of these as possible. have been slacking a little bit on that one a week though. So Wolf's not going to start off by grabbing the Mega and the Rocket Launcher. Good play on the Mega to be able to you just run around the back and get quite a bit of armour as well. This map only has the two major items. There is no sort of half armours, 50s. There are a couple of 25s, but they're ones out of the way entirely. Um, so only to be used if you know your opponent doesn't know how to get it. Amazing play there from Wolf Snipe. Playing very well. Vladimir, I have seen online, he server hops quite a lot rather than adding for any pickups, but certainly a good player. Certainly a player that has put some large dents into me, I think. I've played him a few times and uh, got beaten all of them. So Wolf Snipe, very quality player in Xenotic. Does have a bit of lag at the minute, but that's pretty normal for Wolf Snipe. He plays on a 4G connection. Um, so specifically towards the end of the month it can get a bit dodgy. But it is a very interesting playstyle that Wolf Snipe has. It means that he's sort of half peaks around corners like this and plays very aggressively considering but when he feels good he can play aggressively because when he's feeling good he's got that he knows he's got possibly only a short amount of time before the ping goes. Um, so this sort of aggression you see very rarely, but he's got good aim when he's got it, and he knows where to hit the marks just like that. Quite a good timer. Uh, knows to go... Oh, very nice. Knows where to go for the items for and how to take them cleanly. This is a large lead he's gathering right now. Playing very well. Going to end up with a shotgun battle here. May finish him off. Finishes him off with the mortar. A little bit of lag going through. Tell uh, he's just when you nick back and forth through the teleport, the demo does get a bit, uh, bit off sometimes. Nice air control there to uh, explode the rocket midair right next to Vladimir there and take the kill. So now Wolf Snipe, seven frags in the lead here. Hopefully Vladimir can do something. He seems to be rushing into these fights quite a bit, to be fair, but Wolf Snipe... Oh! Well, that was just unlucky. Very low health there for Wolf Snipe. He doesn't want to take this fight, but... By doing that, he has given away quite a bit of his health advantage. He's probably going to lose that armour. I think that was it. Oh, no! No, he's not going to. He manages to hit the clutch rail on the armour. A very, very nice shot right there. He's going for the 360 no scopes. So that's just showing off. Just being a bit of a dick, really. Um, <laughs> goes for the 360 no scope, but misses it, so. Whatever. Spamming out a bit to try and get something. But lags quite a bit there. I'm not sure if this is just the demo or if this is. Shouldn't be just the demo. It should be legit because it is a POV demo from Wolf Snipe actually playing, so it should be exactly what he got. Vladimir puts his first kill on the board at six and a half minutes into the match, and Wolf Snipe straight off the back. I think Vladimir has lost timing on all the items here now. It does seem like a very I've lost timing on all the items playstyle. Going, not a honestly, not playing aggressively enough. Uh, if you're going for that, I've lost all the items and... I need to just get some kills on the board. There's a bit more aggression, but it's misplaced as Wolf Snipe is able to push down with the Hagar and do some very nice moves. Wolf Snipe is playing a very good... This is how Xenotic generally gets described to me, how you should play. In some games, you should be just aiming for the items. Whereas in some games like CPMA, you should be... You haven't got a timer, so you have to just go for it. Wolf Snipe now, really laggy. But in Xenotic, you want to do a little bit of both. So you, you play really fast and hard in between the items. And it's that ability to uh, time the items 
while hitting shots and while moving around the map very fast, that makes a really good Xenotic player and the ability to, when the items are up, play sneaky because I don't think I've seen very many people play very sneaky, suspicious, hiding around corners uh, when there's no items up. Most of the time that's just get in one room and fight and oh there's an item, I'm off to go and get the item. Hope f if the items are at the same time like they are here you can generally pass it. Unfortunately Wolf's not going down there. Vlad not able to get the kill though or killed himself possibly? Killed himself at some point because that's another kill it says up in the top left hand corner. So here we go, Wolf Snipe drops himself a little bit in the lava. He is trying to go for some Mirio style skill here with the Cryolink. But not quite hitting it, getting a bit of lag. That's definitely lag, he's just completely stopped. Should lose this. Oh no, Vlad didn't go for it, so he's not going to take it. Wolf Snipe gets the kill, got four and a quarter minutes left on the clock. Oh, nice shot there from Wolf Snipe, nice air shot. Almost didn't make the second shot, but did get it in the end. And that is some nice play. That's the sort of play that takes leads on this map right now. This play of just controlling the area, using that teleporter to your advantage. That's the sort of play that takes leads on this map. And it's the sort of play that will come bring you back from the brink of death sometimes. Wolf Snipe now playing very slow actually, but playing extremely passively considering what I said earlier about him having a uh, quite heavy fast play style a lot of the time. He does often play that slower playstyle, again, because sometimes the internet is just not there for him. It's it, He's learned to play with both playstyles, which is an insanely good thing, as you can see here. He's now running away from this fight, which is really difficult when you're lagging like that. Um, gets out of there, and plays a very, very nice shot. Vladimir giving away his position quite early there by trying to... Spam some shots over the top, which allowed Wolf Snipe to really get in there. Don't think Vladimir is going to be able to bring this back. This is going to be quite a wrecking by Wolf Snipe right now. But, yeah, so might as well, while Wolf Snipe just cleans up this map until anything more interesting happens, uh, please send me demos. So I am. Um, Going to be casting quite a lot of these. I'm trying to cast one a week. It hasn't really worked out so far this year, but trying to. So please send me demos for any Arena FPS games. I may also do other sorts of casting. Uh, I'm getting into a few different games, but mostly it's going to be Arena FPS, CPMA, uh, Synotic, and Unreal Tournament a bit are my main games that I would be able to cast the best, I believe. Um... So send me demos for that sort of game. MVDs if you've got them for CPMA. Um, and yeah, we'll see what we can do. See very much what we can do. Hopefully I should be, I could try and cast other games. Uh, some Warsaw, a little bit. A little bit of Warsaw or something like that. But I wouldn't know the maps and it would be not the best of casts. So Wolf Snipe now dodging that armour a little bit, but I don't think many people remember it's there. Gets out of that fight, that's something that he's been doing well all game, that's the reason his kills are so low. He's been going in for these fights, but always sticking near a door. And Vlad has just sort of, because Wolf Snipe has been taking all the armours and the helds up until this last little point, which is why he's going down now, uh, well Wolf Snipe hasn't really had a challenge in the... Uh, in the aftermath. One minute so a minute left. Wolf Snipe is pretty much certain to have cleaned up this map. But there is a small chance Vlad could do something here right at the end. Probably not to take a win, but at least to limit losses. Uh, Wolf Snipe going to be playing quite passively though, I think. This map though... Vlad really doing quite well at the end. I would like to see the next match if there was another match played because Wolf Snipe, I'm not sure if he's just sort of lost a bit of his edge for the lead. Sometimes you do that, you get a big lead and you lose lose your edge of how you were playing before. 
uh, or you're not expecting to be in that position against someone and you just completely lose it. But I think I would like to see if there was another match, I would like to see it. So, Vlad certainly playing a lot better towards the end of this game. And there you go, Wolf Snipe, hit, when he hits his shots, when he gets the items, there's very few people that can beat him. Uh, but that's true for everyone, Wolf Snipe just very good at getting the items. So, GG. Thank you for watching. Thank you for sending demo in, Wolf Snipe. I hope to see some more from you in the future. I do a lot of Wolf Snipe's demos. He sends me a lot of demos, and uh, no one else does. So I'll do what I've got. If you still want to send me a demo, I will cast it. And, yeah, uh, I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.